Hey YouTube, Rick, Rick Wilson here. Uh, we're going to talk about chest pain. Uh, if you've had chest pain, especially if you've gone to the hospital thinking you're having a heart attack, and they tell you it's not a heart attack, and you can't figure out what it is, it might be an organism called H. pylori that's actually in your stomach. Um, but the thing is, you feel these pains everywhere but your stomach. Uh, I felt terrible pain in my chest. I felt pain all the way up here in my shoulder, radiating down my arm. So that's what made me think it was a heart attack. Pain in my sternum right here, which also made me think it was a heart attack. And then just shooting pains in my sides. Just pains everywhere but your stomach. And that's where the organism is. It's in your stomach. Um, and another symptom is, do you, do you lay down at night when you go to bed after you know an hour or so after you eat? Do you lay there and just feel your gut just churn, your stomach just churn and churn and churn and you have pain? pains everywhere but it just churns you can just hear feel the gas and stuff churning inside your gut and um, it's a good good chance you got H. pylori now how do you know that you got H. pylori well you can go to the doctor and be tested and uh, they look for antibodies and then if they find them they put you through a triple antibody uh, therapy and that kills all the bacteria in your gut and then you got to eat yogurt and stuff to put the, back, the good bacteria back. But there's a much easier way to treat this thing because it, for me, it keeps coming back. I get it every year. I just went through it, the worst of it, with my both my parents' funerals here the last two weeks. Um, I had ordered what I needed to cure myself, but it hadn't come yet. But I've got it now, and I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, it's only been, I've only been taking these pills a week, and I feel so much better now. And you will too if, if this is what you have. Uh, but anyway, you can go to the doctor and go through the triple therapy, but there's a much easier way to get rid of it. It's a, it's a thing called mastic gum down here. Mastic gum. It's just the resin from the pistachio tree. And uh, for some unknown, unknown reason, it kills H. pylori. And um, now, now let me talk about H. pylori for a second. It's an organism that's in your stomach. And what happens is it, it, it floats this is this is your stomach lining here this this here is the stomach lining this is the mucus that is inside your stomach so that your stomach don't get eaten by your own acid this is the acid this is mucus this is your stomach lining well H. pylori lives inside of the mucus it attaches itself to the stomach lining with a little thread and then it just stays in the mucus it, so it don't get dissolved by the acid but your stomach when your body realizes it's being affected by this it sends antibodies but the antibodies the antibodies cannot reach the organism because they're floating in the mucus so the antibodies attack your stomach wall here and with me it tends to inflame my stomach they have scoped my stomach when I've been in the middle of one of these infections and they said that it looked like a my stomach had a severe sunburn and that's why there was so much pain it was just the pains were shooting out and you feel them not in your stomach you feel them in all these other places and they're severe and uh, and then but some people if you got ulcers it, H. pylori they now know causes ulcers because when these antibodies attack your stomach lining uh, where the organism is they just start eating away the stomach lining until you end up with an ulcer but the antibodies can't reach the organism because they're floating in the mucus suspended by this thread which they attach to your stomach lining and that's what I think mastic gum now mastic gum they have found kills H. pylori and does not kill any of the, any of the other bacteria in your gut the good bacteria the stuff you want to keep it only kills the bad bacteria H. pylori and what I, they don't know how it works, but what I suspect, is the main difference with this organism and all the other organisms in your gut is the little thread that it hangs itself with to the, to the stomach lining. So I suspect mastic gum somehow dissolves or severs this thread and then you excrete these organisms with your waste. Uh, now let me show you what the mastic gum is. You go get a bottle of this mastic gum. Now you can go to a vitamin store, see it's mastic gum. Okay, you can go to a vitamin store and get this and they'll charge you about $30, $35. But if you get on Amazon, I paid $10.99 for this bottle. It's got 60 pills in it. Uh, and that's not, you got to take two of these in the morning before you eat. Okay, you take two of these pills of mastic gum, which is the resin from the pistachio tree. Two of these in the morning before you eat and then don't eat nothing for at least 20 minutes. Get this stuff at least 20 minutes in an empty gut each morning to work and it, it'll take about two weeks and you'll start feeling a lot better 
and but continue to even though you feel better continue taking it um, oh and I, I didn't explain earlier one reason your stomach turns so much is when you got a lot of these organisms they put out a toxin they throw, as they eat the sugar and they like sugary stuff they like sweet stuff they thrive they live on the sugar in your gut and they and they just hide in the mucus there and uh, but they they like sugar and uh, but the, they put out a toxin and this toxin slows down the muscle movement that flushes the things through your gut and out your intestines that you got a muscle uh, a muscle movement that you know that's why you poop okay is these muscles constantly move through food through your body well these toxins slow that down and that causes gas to just build up and start churning and it's not moving the gas on out like it should where you expel it it just churns and it churns and it churns so if you experience that, especially when you lay down at night, you, you probably got this thing. And the easiest thing to do is spend $10.99 on a bottle of Mastic gum. Take it for a month. If you feel better, this was your problem. If you don't feel better, you're back where you was and this is not your problem, okay? Now occasionally I have, a, I have took the bottle for a month and then just a few weeks later started feeling pain again. So uh, only once have I had to take, and what I did, I just ordered another bottle and put myself through another month, so two months in a row. I had the infection so bad it took two months of uh, treatment with this, and then it was gone. And it'll go away for six months to a year. And my problem is, I think, is when I kiss my wife. I think my wife's carrying it. It doesn't bother her. Half of the people out there have it. It doesn't bother them. And uh, so you probably live with people that have it and keep giving it back to you. So you just just depend on the mastic gum i'm telling you it works so i'm hoping this helps somebody maybe it took me two years to figure this out because the first time they tested me for h pylori it came back negative but then i changed doctors and he tested me again i told him i'd already been tested he said i'm going to recheck and this time it came back positive and then they scoped me and found my stomach was all inflamed and and um, but then, and then i went through the triple antibiotic a couple of times before i figured out mastic gum it's a much easier way to go and it saves you a lot of money and it gets you get results it does it does work okay so that's it that's my video i hope i helped somebody if i did help somebody it's going to take a month or two to see the results Continue, put it down below if i helped you out I, if i just help one person just one person it'll be worth the video okay so see y'all later